Hello and what is going on today people, Tomcat here and today we are back in Need for Speed and we are going to be taking a look at this wonderful Volkswagen GTI. Now the Volkswagen GTI, the classic Volkswagen GTI, the Mark 1 GTI, I love. I mean there's really kind of, I have a special place for this car and we're just going to go ahead and build the crap out of it. We are going to build the living hell out of this car. We're going to make this into... Oh, God, we need a good name for it. Um, I don't know. The I'm, I'm thinking of odd names that might work for this thing. I mean, the first thing that came to mind was Rampaging Weasel, but I don't think that exactly fits. Um, let's see. I'm sure we'll find something to name it after we get this thing built. But these things, are they do really well. I mean, out on, like, the track. They do well in, like, kind of almost any kind of motorsport, even, like, in drag racing. These things are beasts in drag racing if they're built right. I mean, just crazy fast. We're already over 500 horsepower. I mean, this... I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it all. Now, one of the things that I did want to, did want to cover, actually, in this particular video, which is where we're going with Need for Speed. Now, where we're going with Need for Speed, like personally for me, is I want to kind of I want to kind of start incorporating a little bit more Need for Speed again on the uh, on the channel because we we started kind of getting back into a lot of spin tires. And what I kind of want to do is, and you guys can give me your opinion on this, is what do you guys think about having a set schedule? Like say say a certain day of the week will be sp one spin tires and one Need for Speed, and then the next day will be one Forza and one. Beam NG or one Forza and one Spin Tires and then the day after that will be um, Maybe two Need for Speeds and then the day after that will be two Forzas and then the next day after that two You know two Spin Tires videos and then we'll go back to kind of you know Differentiating them as well So if you guys have any opinions on like maybe a schedule like that that I'd like to hear your opinions on it because I'm personally quite interested in doing one but, um, you know what? Actually, I'm, I am gonna call this thing the Rampaging Weasel. I mean, I know it's kind of stupid, but... <laughs> I mean, it's like... I, how do you... I don't know. How do you get away from that? It is the Rampaging Weasel. Let's see. Differential, we'll leave that locked. Uh, brake bias, we'll make it f a little bit more front. So it's... Slidey, slidey. Nitrous, a little bit more for power. And we'll leave it as it is. And then for the vehicle customization, we will adjust the stance down, yeah. And no, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right now. I'm gonna stop doing that right now. I think. Cambering a little bit, a little bit more camber in the rear, not too much. And now, at this point, I've started doing it again. I need to keep that under control. <laughs> Alrighty, wheels. Change wheels. What do we want on this car? I want a very, I want it like a clean look. I want something not too, too stancy, but I want it to kind of set itself apart at the same time. Those Work in Motion XT XT7s actually look really good. I've never used those on anything. That's the cool thing about these wheels is I've never actually used them on anything, which I think actually makes them pretty well applicable to this car. I like to use wheels that I've never, like, if I'm doing a build if I, and I've never used a certain wheel before, I'm like, let's use that. I mean, it's kind of like one of those things where you're like, I'd like to use that because you're like, whoa, that's pretty cool. Like, how how could I actually apply this on a different car? Let's see. We'll bring the size down. Where is... There we go. That looks a lot better. Should we kind of have a basic black or... Hmm. The gloss black. Chrome black's alright. The gloss black is cool. I like the clear coat black. Satin's gorgeous. I'm gonna go with the gloss. I think the gloss looks really good. Wait. Apply to all wheels. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We want to be applying that crap to all wheels. That looks freaking beastly now. Let's see. No. Yes. Okay. T. C. Nice and simple. Not an issue at all. Now, for exhaust. Oh dear. <laughs> for exhausts. We've got quite the selection. I like the race style 3 inch as well as the street style twin straight pipes. 
But you know what? I almost kind of want to be stupid and get a three inch bosu <laughs> i think i don't know it's 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 super stupid but at the same time i think it looks kind of like this is kind of one of those cars where it's just like it's meant to be fun it's meant to be funny and fun and i think that like i think that it th that exhaust particular exhaust kind of lends itself to it nicely let's do the wider stock fenders that looks really good, actually. Get up into the front bumper. That looks so much better. <laughs> a little hood bra. That's hilarious. I like that race style hood, though. Got a couple more things to do. Run around to the back. And this rear bumper has got to go. I mean, it's... There we go. That's so much cleaner. That's, like, ridiculously clean compared to what we had before. Wait, let's see. Yes! Yes! It's different, but I like it. It's cool. Headlights. Now, no. Oh, wait! Yes! An intake on that one side. An intake on one side and a taped light on the other. Or, oh, crap. So, you can either have one or the other. I'll take the intake light because I feel like that looks so menacing and mean. Did the handling tuning. And now, let's see what we've got as far as, like, paints and stuff like that. 1552. Right, so that actually looks nice. That And that, you know what? That fits with our wheel color. I'm okay with that. I actually am properly okay with that. Now, let's take our beast of a GTI out and tear up the streets. I don't know who the hell I was trying to impersonate when I was doing that, but... Actually, since we have a break in the gameplay, let's do some Instagram shoutouts. Uh, let's see. 22, uh, and I'm going to shout out by username. If you guys have never actually been through this, uh, these Instagram shoutouts with me before, let's see. 22 Media, uh, Silver.Sierra, Mick.Stevens, uh, let's see. Mr. Underscore Cheezel, Josh Underscore V-Dub, uh, in a VW video, what a coincidence. David Underscore Randolph, uh, let's see. Joe Underscore Peeler, and... Carl underscore Cody. Cody spelled K-O-D-I. So, thank you guys for liking my pictures on the Instagrams. And we will go ahead and get started. Oh, boy. Ah! It's not slow! Woo! <laughs> this thing is so awesome. We're always... Oh, dude, it's a 200 miles an hour! I don't know how you figure that, but that is legit... We're going to drive this around for a little while, then we're going to head up to the mountains and do a little bit of mountain driving. Maybe some toge and stuff like that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to pay the fine. Later. You feel the fact that it's front-wheel drive, even though I've tuned it for drift. And you feel the fact that it's front-wheel drive in this weird way. So you're never quite, like, it feels like it's front-driven sometimes. But sometimes it feels like it's rear driven, but like, not rear driven, but it feels like it's got a really loose rear end. Um, <laughs> loose rear end, yeah. But no, I, I don't know. It's, it's a different kind of handling car. And when you get into it with a car like this, you're like, that's different and it's a little weird, but I like it. You know how Jeremy Clarkson said he knew his West Highland Terrier wasn't the best dog in the world, but he liked his West Highland Terrier? That's what we're talking about with this car. All oh, the flames out of the Bosu pipe. The front drive burnout getting ready to start a drift event. Excuse me. Oh, we're from the same family. Oh, get it. Get it. Oh, rack up the points. Rack up the... Oh, dude, rack up the freaking points. It just stayed bouncing off the limiter in that one gear. Wow, this thing does not like to shift for some reason. It's like the automatic gearbox in this car is like, oh, stupid. No, it's like, it's like maybe I should go, you know, have some lunch, enjoy a picnic. I, oh, I'm a gearbox. Oh, God, the coppers are here. Cops are here. Gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, dear. 
It's funny, it reminds me of like, reminds me of this one time where a cop actually pulled up right behind me. I was in the FRS, cop pulled up right behind me, flew up behind me with his lights on, and then pulled over the person driving next to me. That, if you if that's never happened to you, just know that it is like one of the best moments ever. It's like one of the most insane moments ever when the cop, like I said, you think you're about to get pulled over, you think you're about to be done, and then the cop pulls over the guy next to you and you're like, oh, thank you! And it's just like, dude, I it, the feeling is indescribable. It is absolutely indescribable. Hello, Christina. I've been passed by a gulf. You know, I'm 11. God, all this, like, attempted, attempted horrible British accent has made me think of my friend Alan all of a sudden. Hello, viewers. <laughs> I'm sure some of you know who that is. Stick with it, stick with it, stick with it. Actually, oh, jeez. What the hell? Stay the hell out of my way. I'm not afraid to use golf power. I have replaced my headlight with an intake. You could say things are getting pretty serious. Yes, my golf and I are starting to take this relationship quite seriously. Get ready, get ready. And, okay. Well, not too, too bad. I mean, I feel like... Look at it this way. Look at it this way. If you... Oh, oh my god. Freaking Christina, people. Passing me like she's all badass and crap. Hmm? Is that the truth? Is that the truth, Christina? Or are you just trying to show off my badass GTI? <laughs> oh my god. I love this thing, though. It's hilarious. And the thing is, look what we're doing. We're decimating these guys. Straight up decimation. And it handles it just fine. It... it it, it's it's totally in its comfort zone and we have a winner the GTI my friends dude I'm I'm all over this car I am absolutely all dude we're almost level 48 we're almost level 50 actually we're only a few levels away from level 50 I am I am astounded not quite astounded but quite pleased it's a Gymkhana Mmm. I got anything else on the. Oh. Oh. Robin's trailer. Where's, uh, let's see. We've already drifted. That's the thing. We've already drifted. We've already Jim Connanananud. Um. Let's head up north. Let's head up north up here into the into Crescent Mountains and see. Let's see. That's a sprint race. This is another sprint race. No, it's a toge. Sweet. I'm always down for a toge race. Always, always, always. 100%. Now, question here. The big question is, we know it can drift. We know it can slide. But can it stack up in a proper toge race? And the thing is, with the Toge races, you need to be scoring, and you need to have speed. And, I mean, really and truly, let's see what happens. Out of the way. Stupid little idiots. Oh my god. Um. Maybe I should have picked a slightly harder Toge race, because good god. That was, uh, a bit easy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, nope. Back off, cat. Things loves the rev limiter, though. It's like, what? Constantly in the middle of the... Dude! She was straight up tandeming with me. That was actually pretty sweet. I looked back, and I was like, that shot is brilliant! Get off my ass. Nope, nope, not today. Not today, girl. I do. No! You stupid little... I refuse to accept that. 
I am going to refuse that reality and substitute my own. Hello! Might I introduce you to some GTI bumper? It turns so quick, and yet you can still rack up the drift points. It's actually a really sweet combination, man. What? It's constantly banging off the limiter, just banging off of it. Absolutely. Oh, God. Oh, yep. That's that Cayman. Ready, and get initiated. Whoop. And then, dude, you can just, like, literally let the car correct itself and just power right on out. It is a monster at that, like, the mountains. This thing, it's almost unparalleled, the handling. Yes, over 200,000 points and, and killing it up here in first place. Luckily, we banked those points before we crashed into the wall. Dramatically. All right, come on. Oh, jeez, come on. And boom. That is a win, my friends. And it is over. That was pretty legit. 251,000 points. Dude, I, I'm i okay with this. In a GTI, I, I am properly okay with this. Now, if you... Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Um, <laughs> we'll gloss over that. But now, if you guys did enjoy this episode of Need for Speed, then don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later and hope you guys enjoyed. And honestly, I don't know if I could wrap that any faster. We'll actually, i tell you what, we'll see you in the next episode. But again, hope you guys enjoyed. My car is freaking out right now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.